Hi, Steve Livingston here, Chartered Accountant. I had a question from a company recently, and it's a very common question on the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, SEIS, and I thought it'd be useful just to record a quick video to run through the answer. And the question that was asked via email was, two people invested, in this case, and we talked about them being eligible for SEIS. However, this is over three years from incorporation. Does this mean these investments aren't SEIS eligible? So as you can see from this case, these two people have invested in this company, and they want to be eligible for SEIS, but their investment was made more than three years after the date of incorporation. And this is a common misconception. The date of incorporation for SEIS purposes and the three-year rule is irrelevant. It's got nothing to do with the date of incorporation. The incorporation date could have been 10 years ago. You could still be eligible for SEIS. The key date you want to be thinking about is the trading date. It's the date the trading commenced. If you want further backup from this, this is the HMRC's own guidance. They talk about new qualifying trade. I see that new qualifying trade. If your company is already carrying out a qualifying trade, it must not have been carrying it must have been carried out for more than three years, either by your company or any other person who transferred into your company. And it goes on to say your company's trade must be treated as a commercial business with the aim of making profits. Uh, you also need to make sure that it's not included on the excluded activities uh, list. That's a sort of separate point. But here you're looking at three years uh, from the date the trade commenced. And one thing to be aware of here is uh, a common thing here that sort of often leads on to is if you bought the business in from somewhere else, so you say you bought a, a piece of software, some sort of um, marketing software or something, and you bought that software into your company and you're going to start raising money to really commercialise it and ramp it up, then you've got to bear in mind when did that trade start in the predecessor company. So the three year, it doesn't start again once you transfer it into your company. It starts from when the trade, when it first started trading in the, say, the original company. Same point applies to kind of Phoenix companies where you're saying, oh, yeah, I wish I had known about SES. I would have, um, uh, I, or I would have done that in the first place. Why, why don't I just close that company down and start getting a new one? You can't do that. You look to the predecessor company where it originally started and uh, follow the breadcrumbs back to that. And that's where the three year kind of total works back from. But that leads on to the question is, what is a trade? When does trade commence? And there's no clear definition on this, unfortunately. There's no kind of statutory definition. And the kind of you kind of have to apply a sort of more pragmatic sort of approach to it and um, look at sort of the state of the facts and really you know, how HMRC interpret it as it's the date you open for business. So you can imagine it in pretty much any sort of business. You can be testing something. You can be, um, uh, you know, the classic scenario of the shop, very easy to think about it. You, 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 you get your premises, you've done research, you find your premises, still haven't started trading. You uh, start stocking it up with uh, the goods, still haven't started trading. Uh, you are getting your, your till, your point of sale system in place, still not started trading, starting to get your marketing sorted, blah, 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 still not started trading. And then you flip the sign to open and you start a trading because you're accepting customers, you're in a position where you can start accepting revenues and you are now trading. So that's your three-year rule for SEAS. I hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.